Hey, Gary here with you. Day nine of blogging with AI and Groove Blog. Here on the blog, I want to show you what I'm doing as far as the number of blog posts, get back into the content creation of this. Also, I remember or I noticed in the final edit of day eight, I was talking about these popular posts here and I've got this down to three and I think I'm going to try this. I like the look of it. I may extend it to see what it looks like if I was to go with six, but we'll play around with that. But what I want to show you inside of the blog, I believe my face was covering this up when I was talking about it in the final edit. When you go in and you edit the post inside of Groove Blog, when this loads up and you'll be able to click it, open editor, or you can come down here to the hamburger menu and click edit there. This is where you will be setting this popular post. And I want to scroll down here. This popular post setting. Because I believe my face was in the way when I showed this inside of Groove Blog. Now I'm going to scroll down. Once you create the post, over here on, under post settings, this little cog wheel up here slides this window back in and out. It's this right here. You tick this popular post. We also have show sidebar, add to carousel, show on homepage. But this ticking the popular post here, that is what puts this in this popular post box on the homepage of your blog. All right, now I wanna jump into creating content and inside of ChatGPT, as well as a new feature that just landed in Koala Writer as of well, I seen it as of today, April 23rd, 2022. And then how I'm, how I'm getting or how I was doing it inside of Rank IQ or ChatGPT based upon the report. So how to memorize planets is one of the keywords that came from inside of Rank IQ. When you run this report, you get a content analysis, the top, the topics Google likes in the post. You get all these words. And then you get, of course, the title analysis and then the competitor analysis. But I want to focus in on this content analysis, the topics Google likes in the post. If you go back to ChatGPT, this is the prompt that I'm using. Of course, I have my prompt up here in my response manager, this Chrome extension where I am having my prompt saved or I'm saving my prompt in this Chrome extension. You can see here the blog post outline from Rank IQ. If I click edit, you can see here that this is the same prompt. Create a blog post outline for topic. Insert blog post title here with the main keyword being insert main keyword here that I get from Rank IQ. And then I list the keywords that you see here. And these came from inside of Rank IQ. Now inside of Koala Writer, what they've done if you scroll down, you enter the type of article you're gonna do, the blog post, you'd put your keyword here, SEO optimization, manual, specify a list of keywords to be used in the article, which is beta or AI powered. We analyze top ranking pages and extract, extract up to 100 topically relevant keywords and entities to use in the article. This results in a much more comprehensive article with a better chance of ranking. So you have the default, then you have manual where you're entering the keywords, which is what I was basically doing inside of ChatGPT. And remember, Koala is powered by ChatGPT. ChatGPT 3.5 by default and GPT-4 if you select that, which uses more of your credits. But here you're going to be able to enter your relative keywords, which aligns with what I was doing inside of Rank IQ. And of course, if you go back to our Universe Unriddled blog tracker, our blog post tracker for Astronomy Basics blog post, you can see the blog post was written by, or you can see here, column B, post written by ChatGPT Koala, keyword from ChatGPT or Rank IQ. So now what I can do is I can have Koala use the keywords from Rank IQ, and then I can have Koala write the post the way I was doing it for ChatGPT. And again, let me go back real quick and just show you how I was doing that. 
So again, I would find, if I found how to memorize planets, if I found this in my keyword library and I ran a report. So if you go back to your keyword library and rank IQ, we are under the niche of space. And again, this isn't AI. This is rank IQ. This is research that's been done by the team at rank IQ for the niche space. So you see those right there. And then once I have my keywords or my list of keywords that I want to go after, I have those here. And I can go back to reports. And then once I run a report, how to, how to memorize the planets, you click on the report and then it gives you all of those keywords that we're gonna go after. And again, I am putting that prompt into chat GPT. And then I'm adding all those keywords from Rank IQ, which now I don't need to do this in chat GPT because in chat GPT, what it does after you do that is it creates this outline. Then after you have that outline, what I'm doing is I'm going and I'm, tell, I'm telling chat GPT to write different sections and to add information based upon what I think it needs or where I feel it's lacking. So that's how I'm doing it in chat GPT. But now I could take this same content analysis, these same topics Google's likes, the same topics and keywords Google likes to see in those posts that I was adding in chat GPT. And now because of this SEO optimization, I can add that into Koala Writer. And you'll see here if I go and click on solar and lunar eclipses, which is a article I just wrote or had Koala write 2,672 words. You can see this is the article and I can just simply copy this and then put it into Groove blog. But if you go back or it's not going to show the outline, I don't think, can I show the outline again? I don't think it works. I thought I was hoping I could show you the outline here without creating a new outline, but we'll dive deeper into that. But I wanted to break that down because now what I was doing manually, basically, and it's kind of weird to say manually, but what I was doing when I was creating a prompt inside of chat GPT is I was using rank IQ. I was using the information from rank IQ, which before I couldn't add these manually into Koala. So I was relying on Koala just to go pull the information, but this SEO optimization with manual list of keywords or just clicking AI powered, which so far like this article, solar and lunar eclipses, I just used AI powered because I did not find or I did not pull that from a report in Rank IQ, again, which I am tracking inside of my spreadsheet that the post was written by Koala, but the keyword came from ChatGPT. And of course that came from the topical authority list, 30 semantically relevant, but unique topics under the category of astronomy basics, solar and lunar eclipses. And then I take that and then I put that into ChatGPT to have it write the article. Or I pull that keyword, this keyword, and I put that in Koala and I was letting Koala do all that work. And it generated this using the AI powered keyword list. <clears throat> One note that I want to cover before I end this video, and I know I bounced around, but the case study, especially in day, what is this day nine in this early stages, as I'm outlining and I get new features inside of Koala, and I look at the information that I get inside of Rank IQ versus Chat GPT and really figure out how I want to align that information and track it to see what ranks, what doesn't rank, the best information when I read it and edit it, the way, the way it reads, the flow. I want to show all that. And then by the end of 100 days, we'll both have a process of being able to look. So as you watch the videos, you'll see the process. And then I'll outline that process totally for you so you can replicate it and then add your own spin on it, of course. But you'll be able to see the way I'm laying it out. And then at the end of these 100 days, all this information that we've learned about AI using Koala Writer. So using Koala Writer, using Koala Chat together with Koala Writer, which is what I'm about to show you right now with ChatGPT and Rank IQ, and then keeping track of all that or trying our best to keep track of all these data points so we can look at them. 
not be overwhelmed with the minutia or just small details, but understand that we are getting keywords from Rank IQ or Chat GPT, and then we're just feeding that information into Koala and seeing where we get our best results. But what I wanna do right now is pause, go to Koala Rider, click on solar and lunar eclipses and show you something specific to Groove Blog because part of this case study is using Groove Blog. When Koala Rider wrote this article on solar and lunar eclipses, you'll scroll down and what you'll see is there is a table here for umbra and penumbra, these shadows, it created this table. Now, when I copied this table, and I'll show you that, I'll just show you this real quick. When I copied this, by, actually, I copied the entire thing, but when I copied this table, this is an HTML table. When I copied this into Groove Blog, you'll see here solar and lunar eclipses. When I copied this in, it did not and I want to emphasize, it did not create this that, the way you see it right here. And I'm going to exit this and just show you real quick by creating a blog post inside and show you how I did this. So if I create a new post, and I'm not going to publish this post, I'm just going to put this in draft. So if I create a new post, and I was just to paste in that information, again, go back to Koala, this umbra and penumbra, this H2, this paragraph, and then this table, the way that you see it here. If I just post that in the Groove blog, it strips out all the HTML that you see right here. So then I was like, okay, well, that's not really that big of a deal because you know that you can add images by clicking the image, and I covered that. You can also add a video here by adding a Groove video, a YouTube video, a Vimeo video, a Wistio video, or embedding the code. So you can add a video, but you could also embed HTML or custom code right here inside of this block. So using Koala, I had this information or the information in this table with these headings. Koala chat is basically chat GPT 3.5. So if I was to go back to chat GPT, hit new chat, this is basically what Koala Chat is. Koala is giving you this access so you don't have to pay $20 to utilize ChatGPT+. Of course, ChatGPT has a free account, but there are some limitations on that. And eventually this will go to four, plus it also has this real-time data. But I wanna show you what I did. Scroll up to the top here add some CSS to this HTML code to align it better. This is a chat, remember? This is Koala chat. And then I pasted this in and it gave me, oh, let me back up. I need the HTML code that puts the information in this table. Remember, if I go back and I hit cancel when I pasted this in, it put it in or put this table information. It just stripped the HTML. So I went back to Koala Chat and I said, I need the HTML code that puts this information in the table. And then this is what I posted in. The way that it looked when it stripped it out inside a Groove blog, I posted that in the chat and it gave me the HTML code for the table, which was okay. But the format, and I'll just show you real quick what this looks like so you can see it. Actually, I need to come down here and then scroll, scroll up and then I'll copy that. This is the HTML code. So I said, okay, well, this is extremely ugly, right? I don't want that. So what I'll do is I'll post in the HTML code or I'll paste in the HTML code and then this is what it looks like. So you can see here, this is what it looked like with just the HTML code. If you go back to the blog post, and we'll just go to the blog post real quick so you can see it instead of opening it up in the editor. This is the live blog post here. You'll see the final result of the table. So this is the table right here. This is what I got with just the HTML code. Again, this is what it looks like, the final product. This is what it looks like with the HTML code. And I know I'm bouncing back and forth a lot, but you can see this is just the HTML code. Then I was like, add some CSS. So I said, okay, add some CSS to the HTML code. It gave me the CSS, 
And I was like, well, that's great, but I don't know how to combine that. So then I said, please show the code together, the HTML code and the CSS combined. And you can see here, certainly here's the full HTML code with the CSS. So then I was able to take this and again, scroll up to copy all. I wish they would add a copy, copy code button like they have in chat GPT, but you can copy that. Now we'll go back to Groove blog. And again, this is the code. This was just the HTML code. I'll go ahead and I'll select all that and delete it. And then I will paste that in and then I'm going to hit done. And you're going to see this change. You can see it changed right there, which is the final result because this is CSS and HTML to align it, to make it look that much better like it looks here in the live blog. But again, the point was, and the point is, I started with Koala Writer writing the blog post. It gave me a nice table, which this table might look better, might not look better, and you could play with that if you wanted to. But I was able to take this information after it stripped it all out in the Groove blog, come back to Koala Chat, and utilize Koala without ChatGPT to get the HTML code, and then to have Koala Chat add some CSS to the HTML code and make it align better to get this final result, which I think looks a lot better. So you can see the power of the AI working together. And then of course, what's going on inside of Grooblog. So once it stripped it out in Grooblog, I knew I needed to go back to Koala and utilize the Koala chat to get the final result that I was looking for. So right now we are up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blog posts inside of our tracker. We're keeping track of that, of course, we're blogging or I'm blogging off screen, but I'm sharing that here in the case study. I'll move back in to show you what I'm doing. Of course, we did the site map. The site map right now has discovered seven pages. This was an RSS feed. I'm going to refresh this to see if this is automatically updating. You can see here it is still just seven, but the last read was April 22nd. This is April 23rd. I don't know how this is going to sync up, so we'll have to see and watch this RSS feed because we don't have a typical RSS feed or we don't have a typical sitemap or traditional sitemap like I showed you with the plugin that I used inside of WordPress. So we're using this RSS feed. So we'll have to monitor this to see that when we submitted it, April 22nd was the last day it read it and it had the seven posts. But as you can see, I'm keeping track and I have 10 posts, so there may be an update that needs to happen. We may manually have to go back into Groove blog inside of the settings. And then I don't think it saved that draft. So we're good there. We have to go back into the settings here and we're using this RSS feed. So we'll have to make sure and monitor this RSS feed to see that it is syncing up with our Google search console because Google search console and analytics, I mean, it has all that information, they're connected, so Google has its spiders and it's crawling our, our site, but that feed, that sitemap feed, where we're updating that sitemap to make sure Google has that most up-to-date information that we're providing based upon that site feed or that sitemap or that RSS feed that we covered in the last video. We wanna make sure that that is syncing up and it's doing what it's supposed to be doing <laughs> and giving it and giving it that information to Google or feeding that information to Google to keep it up to date so we have the most up to date information so we can make sure that all that stays in sync and it's happening as fast as possible. And that is the update for today. We're bouncing around, we're doing a lot of work. We're at day nine, got a long way ahead of us here to get to day 100. Hope you're sticking with me. Of course, ask any comments, ask any questions you have in the comments. I look forward to answering those questions and you seeing where we're at, where we're going and what's happening and you using this information to do the same thing, to let AI do some of the heavy lifting for you that maybe has kept you from blogging up to this point and see where we can take this. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. If this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. See you later, bye.